Hi, welcome to Cook with Roy. Oh, it's been a long day and I'm really hungry for pizza, but you know what? It's not an option to go out and it's too expensive. So what are we gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what. Let me show you now a few tricks and techniques so you can make your own pizza quick, easy, and most importantly, delicious, just using a few simple ingredients from your pantry. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, if you have a comment or a suggestion or a recipe that you like, put a comment below. So thanks again, and here we go. So to have a little fun today, I'm gonna to start a timer. And when the timer goes off in 30 minutes, that pizza is gonna come out of the oven and ready to eat. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay. So starting now, I'm going to go ahead and get the oven preheating to 550 degrees. Now with our quick and easy pizza, we once again turn to our trusty cast iron skillet. So if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can just use a cookie sheet. Okay, so I'm going to get the ingredients ready to go here, and then we'll get started putting them together. So as you can see, I've got my ingredients ready to go. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you wanna take a measuring cup and you wanna put four ounces of warm water in there, which is approximately a little under half a cup is what I want. We'll let that water warm up there. We also are gonna do one cup of regular flour. Now we're gonna take yeast, and this is active dry. You can also use instant yeast. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. And we're gonna do one teaspoon. The pressure is on, the timer's going. If that goes off and we're not done, you guys are gonna be disappointed. Now we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of sugar in that yeast water. Give it a little stir. Now what we want is for that water to dissolve and to foam up. And we're gonna give that some time to do that. Now on to our dry ingredients. We're gonna add actually a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda to our flour. Quick mix. And also we're gonna do a little bit of salt. And of course, I forgot where I put my salt. There it is. We'll just go this route. Usually I would do something like, oh hey, you gotta use kosher salt. Do you have kosher salt in your pantry? Well, don't worry about it, just use the stuff that we've been using forever. All right, let's get our toppings ready. Now, of course, when you're doing a quick and easy pizza, whatever you got in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna grate a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now this recipe, makes enough pizza for two of the size cast iron skillet I have. I think that's a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Okay, we got some cheese here. Got our pepperonis, we're gonna get out and get ready to go. Oh heck, let's put more on, why don't we? That's good. <laughs> oh well. 
I guess we won't have any more pepperoni for the next pizza. Okay. Now when it comes to the sauce, um, if you don't have any pizza sauce in the cupboard, you know, strain some um, like canned tomatoes, mix in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of garlic, um, maybe a little bit of oregano, mix it together and uh, then add a little bit of the juice back in. Whatever you have handy in that pantry, don't be afraid to just use something that's going to help you to make it quick and easy. It's going to be delicious because you're using fresh ingredients and you're putting it together and baking it yourself and you're going to love it. All right, bring in here we see our yeast now, foamed up nicely. Now inside here, remember we have a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and we have a little bit of salt and um, what was that, about a half a teaspoon and uh, one cup of flour. Now this is four ounces or a little less of, uh, of water, warm water with yeast. Put that in there and also we have a little bit of sugar in there. Now we're also going to add about a half a teaspoon of vinegar, maybe a little more. What is the vinegar going to do? The vinegar is going to help making and helping the dough rise with the baking soda, creating a gas, carbon dioxide. Now as you put your dough together, it's going to be a little moist, it's going to be a little bit wet. And that's okay. As a matter of fact, we want it a little bit more moist and wet than normal because we want to be able to easily spread it out. Now traditionally, you would knead this and uh, set it aside and let it rise and even two to three days in the refrigerator to help it develop flavor. But tonight we don't have time for that. We've got things to do, places to go, and we want to have something delicious in about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to put a little bit of flour out here on the board. And we're just going to set it off like that. And then also what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half. Now if you like your pizza really thick, you could just do the whole piece just, uh, just like that. But I like it a little thin and uh, it works well in the, in the uh, cast iron skillet that we're going to use. I want to take olive oil and just put a little bit in there, maybe a tablespoon or a little more. Then take our dough. Now if the dough sticks to your fingers, maybe put a little bit of flour on there and get it worked out. And again, I'm making this pizza pretty thin. If you like a little bit more, then uh, use a little bit more dough. And of course, pizza tastes better if it looks a little rustic, right? Now what we're going to do, put it back here and turn the heat off. Now we're going to let that sit for a few minutes and let it kind of relax and to start to create those a uh, little bit of the rise on the pizza crust. So let's check on our time. How much time do we have? Alexa, how much time is on the timer? You have 15 minutes left on your 30 minute timer. All right, we did that in 15 minutes. So we'll clean up just a little bit. So while the crust is over there, kind of rising a little bit, it's not going to rise a lot. Don't expect it to be all poofy. Just going to be able to get a little bit of the, the reaction going with the crust, with the yeast and the uh, vinegar and the baking soda. Now the pizza is going to take in our very hot oven approximately eight to nine minutes at the most. So when we checked the timer we had 15 minutes left so we're going to give it a couple more minutes and then we're going to top it and we're going to do one more trick that's going to really help that crust be delicious. I think it's time to get out of the next step. Let's top our pizza. We're going to put a healthy tablespoon or so of sauce. You don't want to overdo it. Well, maybe you do. It's up to you. It's your pizza. 
put our pepperoni on. That timer is going. We got to hurry. Okay, now the cheese. All right. Okay. Now, we can take it to the stove. Remove all flammables from the area. And we're going to turn that on to high heat. Notice we got our stove here going at 550 degrees. Now we're not going to leave it on the stove here very long. Just enough to just start that crust going. Okay, so it should be maybe a couple minutes, maybe three minutes. You can see it's starting to bubble there. Now again, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, to make the pizza um, on a cookie sheet, just spread out your dough on the cookie sheet, let it rest, put your toppings on and pop it into the hot oven. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Let's put her in the oven. Now we wanted our, um, our rack to be on the upper half of the oven. Okay, turn the fire off and uh, now we wait. It's pizza time. Alexa, stop. Okay, here we go, folks. Oh my goodness, that's hot. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Let's get a, that is hot. Okay, let's take a look underneath the crust here. How about that, folks? Does that look delicious, huh? Let's give it a moment of, to rest, because we wouldn't want to cut into it and eat it now, would we? I mean, we would burn the roof of our mouth, right? You hear the crunch? Okay, so there's four pieces there. That's enough for me. All right, we'll make them smaller so that Olivia can have some too. Now we didn't get quite the rise that we sometimes get so it can be any number of reasons but we did get um, I think a really uh, nice crispy uh, golden brown crust here so I'm going to give it a shot even though I'm risking burning my mouth hmm. let's give the uh, the other part of the crust a, a bite has a really good flavor. Certainly better than um, I think a frozen or a store-bought pizza. Mmm, um, that's good. So, with just very simple ingredients, flour, salt, sugar, yeast, baking soda, vinegar, and our cast iron skillet. And again, like I said, if you don't have one of those, just put it on a cookie sheet. It won't be quite as brown on the bottom as, uh, as with the, the uh, cast iron skillet, but maybe if you leave it in there a little longer, it would be. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Again, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you like the video, push like. And um, I hope that uh, you'll join us next time. This is Roy with Cook with Roy. Oh, 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 oh,